Hello everyone, I'm here with a tutorial today. It's going to be a nice, soft, navy colored um, cat eye effect. And here's the look. So if you would like to see how to do this look, just keep watching. Okay, first off we're going to start with applying a base. I'm just going to use the Sudevit pencil in Chiang Mai. You don't want to put too much because cream products will crease. I should say that I already went ahead and laid down a layer of Urban Decay Primer Potion. Just use any base that you have. I want to make this into a sort of a um, you can see from this eye, we've sort of got a cat eye effect going on, so I'm trying to just wedge it out into a cat eye shape, but not a defined one, because we're going to blend it out and make it softer. You don't want to go too far in because we're keeping the inside very light. Just nice and soft. That looks pretty good. So... I'm now going to take my Sleek Storm Palette which is, and I'm just going to take the darkest blue in the palette which is on the bottom row this navy color. I'm going to take an angled brush. This is from Sigma. I'm not sure of the new, line, the new um, numbering but it's the SS275 it's just the angled brush. You can use any angled brush you have. I'm going to go into that color and just place it on top of that darker color. And you want to stop and check every so often to make sure you're getting the same shape. Just gonna take the um, SS224, um, and like I said, I still don't know the numbering. So SS224, and blend that out. And once I blended that out with no color on the brush, I take that matte color. It looks a lot to me like wedge, um, but for the sake of using the palette, I'm just going to use the color that's in here. So take that onto the brush and just soften that up. And now I'm going to go in with an SS252 and take this champagne color it's the second one in take that color and apply it to the inner corner and I sort of went overlapping now we're pretty much covering up the matte color You know, one thing I didn't do on this eye is highlight the inner corner. Sorry, you can hear my dog. I 
I'm going to take that go ahead and go all the way across the bottom of the lashes. I think that'll be a pretty bright effect. So that's pretty much the look that I'm going for. A highlight and what I like to do for highlighting is take my brow kit from Anastasia and I use the highlight in there and because I don't really like the matte color by itself and the shimmery is too much for this I'm gonna mix the two and so and instead of just highlighting I'm just kinda doing everything that I didn't do so like just above the crease all the way up with this color the next thing I'm gonna do is take the Jordana or Jordana Fabi liner and I'm going to line the upper eye and make this cat eye the winged cat eye look so I'm going to take a mirror. And the reason why I like this is because this precision tip helps me make it really thin on the inner side of the eye and it helps me create a really nice um, wing on the outer eye, really straight and precise. So I'm going to go into that. I can hear my dog coming back. Hi guys. Just gonna watch you do my makeup. Draw a line from the bottom on the waterline and like extend that line up. And then take it in to meet. the line that you did on your lashes. I use a gel liner on the inside of my eye to do um, the waterline and the tight line. You've also seen me do this in another video. Um, so it's the same process. Take an angled liner brush, this one's a synthetic 263. I like using the synthetic brushes more with the gel liner. So I'm gonna try to keep myself in the frame this time. And then I'm just gonna blink it into the top. Now I'm just going to put on my mascara, and that'll probably be it for the eyes. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it for the eye look. So now I'm just going to put on my bronzer. I'm going to take NARS Laguna. And for blush, I'm going to use the Tarte Exposed Blush. It's very pretty. It's just a nice um, nudish colored blush. And I'm not reapplying color or, or piling on the color here. I'm blending it out. Before I started doing this video, I went ahead and applied lip balm to make my lips nice and soft for the application of color. So now I'm just going to put on a, um, you know, a neutral color. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this tutorial, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I am new to this and I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of how to edit the videos and um, really worked on my lighting and um, you know all the other aspects that go into filming. So please subscribe. Thank you so much.